Okay, so I was having a discussion with some of the guys in the Mac Pro Upgrade group, and it's a discussion we've all had about a thousand times now, and that is how much power uh, can you pull from the mini six pin uh, connections on the back plane on a uh, Mac Pro. Now, a common thing that you'll hear is that the maximum power draw on per mini six pin is 75 watts. Now, Apple never said that. There's no documentation anywhere that claims that. People assume that because they're assuming that a mini six pin is the same as a six pin PCIe standard. Big shout out to Martin Lowe for being the one to originally explain this to me way back when. According to the VESA standard for PCIe, any unlabeled connector should have 40 watts per powered pin. In this case, with three powered pins, it should be 120 watts per uh, mini six pin. So that would put our maximum TDP at 315 watts. Now, we can prove this, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, to answer the question of how much power can be drawn uh, from the mini six pins in a classic Mac Pro, me and Jace here came up with a little test. So, let's show them what we got, buddy. <clears throat> All right, so if you look down in here, I have a GTX 1070. It's an EVGA hybrid card. Uh, it's got a liquid cooler. Uh, it's powered right now with one mini six pin to eight pin, as you can see down in there. Okay, I'm using the non-FTW card because the FTW card has a higher TDP of 185 watts. This one, as we know, is, even though it's got the liquid cooler and all that fancy stuff on there, it's just a reference 1070 underneath all of that. So, it has 150 watt TDP. Now, at 100% power draw, it draws four amps from the PCIe uh, slot. And what that means is that it's drawing uh, 48 volts, or 48 watts, excuse me. So, 48 watts from PCIe, the remaining 102 watts are coming from that one mini six pin. If you look behind me, there's the fuzzy donut of death, AKA Furmark. It's been running for about 20 minutes now. So, if the maximum power that could be pulled uh, safely or, or without shutdown through a, uh, through a mini six pin were 75 watts, then this wouldn't be possible. Pulling 100% TDP, 102 watts from the mini six pin and 48 watts from the, uh, from the PCIe slot. Okay, so now I'm running it at 112% power limit uh, for a total TDP of about 168 watts, which is gonna raise the amperage on the uh, PCIe slot to 4.3 or so, uh, or about 51 to 52 watts, which means we're pulling 116 to 117 watts from the mini six pin. And we'll have spikes up here on TDP It'll spike up to about 112 to 114. So conclusion then, uh, so I just showed that uh, one mini six pin uh, can run 120 watts, right? Uh, so why do GPU shutdowns happen in a Mac Pro then? So the first most common one is that you have an unbalanced card and this usually happens when you have a card that has one eight pin PCIe connector and one uh, six pin. So that eight pin will often end up drawing well over 120 watts. Cause remember an eight pin PCIe cable is supposed to be rated for up to 150. So the solution to this is to use dual SATA to, to six pin for the six pin and then use dual mini six pin to eight pin for the eight pin connector on that card. The other common problem is that you have a GPU that overloads the PCIe slot and draws more than uh, 75 watts from the slot. And this is something that I saw in uh, some Vegas that I tested. Uh, and that's really the only time I've ever personally seen that. Y'all have a great day.
back 